very warm welcome. Day 2 of the F1 test as Valtteri Bottas ends up quickest. Lewis Hamilton spins at turn 13 and Vettel has a gearbox issue. Welcome to day 2 reaction. Uh, kind of hard to believe that testing will be finished tomorrow as it is a 3 day test. These videos have been very well supported so a big shout out to everyone who's watching. Perez has his debut for Red Bull and Alonso returns for the first time since Abu Dhabi. Ricardo first out on day two. First hour, not a lot happened on the first hour. It was like kind of uneventful. Carlos Sainz was P1. Ricardo P1 and then Alonso P1. Back and forth, the times were going. And then we have another gearbox issue for Sebastian Vettel. We saw Bottas have an issue with the gearbox on day one. Vettel had the same problem on day two. And Mercedes engines. Big spin for Carlos Sainz. Lucky to keep it out the wall. Nicholas Latifi did the same and put tyre marks all over the track. Massive flat spot for Nicholas Latifi. And yeah... His tyre was almost punctured. It was that bad of a flat spot. And then the world champion spins at turn 13. Lewis Hamilton ends up in the gravel trap. To be fair, Lewis had a good day today. Apart from the spin, he actually got mileage in. And, of course, people will talk about the spin. But he actually had a decent day. And he got 58 laps on the board. But what I don't understand, he went in backwards. And instead of putting the power down straight away to get out he like let it beach and then he put the power down which was a bit strange but he is a world champion i am not so yeah um the rear looks very loose on the mercedes vettel literally a disaster morning pretty much the same as bottas yesterday he got 10 laps morning session done ricardo was p1 alpine looking strong vettel issue Hamilton had a spin and a great morning for Nikita Mazepin as he got 76 laps on the board, the most of anyone in the morning. Leclerc first out after lunch. We had like a 10 minute gap where no one came out. Finally, Leclerc came out and the conditions were a lot better today as it was sandy. And yeah, yesterday it was not good conditions. Bottas finally out after 54 minutes. Again, Bottas, you would expect him to get on track since he only had six laps. He took 54 minutes to come out after lunch. Um, then we saw a little race between uh, Latifi and Gasly. Now, Gasly was on a long run. He was behind Latifi. He basically sent it down the inside after staying behind him like three laps. Norris went P1. Giovinazzi went P1, Gasly, it was, they were going backwards and forth, and then Bottas ended up quickest. Giovinazzi hit 100 laps, solid day for Antonio. Perez behind Latifi. Now, Sergio Perez had his DRS open, he was slipstreaming Latifi, and he pulled out, and his engine cover came flying off. It brought out the second red flag to clear the debris. Yeah, it was a bit weird. At first, I thought he hit the back of Latifi, but it wasn't. It was just the engine cover blowing off. Red flag for the debris on the pit straight. Latifi has his second spin of the day at turn one. Um, seeing a lot of soft tyre runs. Uh, the times were going. It was Gasly, Giovinazzi, Norris. They were like all going for soft runs. But we don't know the fuel load. Tomorrow will be interesting. Hopefully we will see teams really give it a qualifying go and we can get a trace of what the field will look like. Mick came into the pits. Uh, he got the green light. He set off. He knocked his like Jackman. Very lucky escape. Reliability has been very impressive. We've only had four issues in two days. Two gearbox problems for Bottas and Seb. Leclerc's issue and Schumacher on the first day. It's only testing. People will see Bottas and 
people get carried away. It's only testing. Mileage is important, not the lap time. Final day tomorrow already. It's been crazy. But I'm so grateful for F1 to be back on the screens. It's crazy. There's only eight, hour, eight hours of testing left. Big day tomorrow for Sebastian Vettel. He needs the mileage desperately. Um, and there we have it. Day two reaction. Now I'm going to cover everyone. The red flags today. We had one for Lewis Hamilton spinning the gravel trap. And we had a second one for Perez Debris. And they also bring a red flag out with five minutes to go so the drivers can practice their starts on the grid. Full days for Fernando Alonso, Giovinazzi, Perez and Latifi. Latifi's test is actually over now um, because Russell will drive the full day tomorrow. And also Giovinazzi's test is over. Kimi gets the full day. So P1, Valtteri Bottas, 57 laps. He had a horror day yesterday, back to normality today, and Mercedes back on top of the time sheets. P2, Pierre Gasly, 87 laps. Now, that's a hell of a lot of laps. He came in, replaced Sonoda, 87 laps. Alfa Torre looking very reliable. P3, Lance Stroll, 71 laps. He needed the laps and got the laps. Impressive after Vettel's issue. Fourth, Lando Norris, 52 laps. Now, McLaren, Alfa Torre are looking very good, very reliable. And Norris was on top for quite a while. Fifth, Antonio Giovinazzi. He did the full day and did 125 laps. He'll be having a blow-dry shampoo in his hair tonight. A mega stint by the Italian. Six, Charles Leclerc, 73 laps. Now, came in for Sainz. I don't know, Ferrari, I feel they're going to have another tough season. I don't get the feeling they're going to be good. Seventh, Nicholas Latifi had an eventful day with two spins and he completed 132 laps. His test will be over and he will look forward to the race in two weeks' time. Eighth, Sergio Perez, 117 laps as he debutises for Red Bull. A pretty uneventful day for Perez, but he did have his engine cover blow off after slipstreaming Nicholas Latifi. Ninth, Daniel Ricciardo, 52 laps. Finished the morning session P1. Another good day for Ricciardo. McLaren looking very strong. Tenth, Fernando Alonso, 128 laps. Great return for Fernando Alonso. The Alpine car looks amazing. And that is great reliability. Alpine are looking dark horses. I've been really impressed with their reliability. 11th, Yuki Tsunoda, 57 laps. Great for him to get mileage on the belt. But Gasly came in and did 87 laps. So he did 30 laps more than Tsunoda. 12th, Mick Schumacher had a horrible day yesterday with a hydraulic issue. He does 87 laps. Now, that is absolutely key for Mick. Haas had a very good day and very reliable. As we go on to 13th, Carlos Sainz had a big spin, turn 7, turn 8. Um, yeah, 56 laps. Um, Sainz looked a bit twitchy. 14th, Nikita Mazepin did the most laps in the morning, 76 laps. That's 87 by Schumacher. 76 by Mazepin. A great day for Haas F1. You would expect Williams Haas to be unreliable, yet Aston Martin and Mercedes have been unreliable. 15th, Lewis Hamilton with 58 laps. A good day for Hamilton. He had the spin. Then they brought the car back to the garage and he went back out. But the Mercedes looks a bit twitchy. But Bottas is up there in P1. I fully believe Mercedes are still the top car. It's just not been plain sailing. 16th, Sebastian Vettel. 10 laps. A disaster of a day for Vettel. He needs some laps tomorrow. Critical. Join me tomorrow for day three of testing, where it will be the final day. And hopefully we get a better view. I just want to see teams set quick lap times, but I'm not sure if they will. But 
it would be absolutely typical of Mercedes tomorrow to just set a 127 or something, just smash the field to bits. Everyone's getting hope up, hope up. Alpine, McLaren, just relax, it's testing. Mercedes will probably smash it out the park again. The support on these videos has been insane. Big shout out. I mean, the views are going stupid. I mean, I'm a Formula 1 fan. I'm watching it anyway, so I'm reacting. Comment down below. We'll always reply and tickle the like button. Really appreciate it. I never ask for likes, but the channel is doing the best it's ever done. And it's great to see that consistency pays off. That's day two done. Join me for day three tomorrow as testing will be over. Bottas ends up fastest, Hamilton spin, and Vettel, big gearbox issues. Thanks for watching. Adios. Oh shit, wrong button.